The Hungarian Grand Prix, a lap that is 4,381 metres long, with slippery and dusty asphalt, characterised above all by high temperatures that can exceed 50 degrees. Soft and super soft are the tyres that Pirelli has brought to the track, in order to combat the lack of grip from a particularly slippery surface. Our virtual car illustrates very well some of the challenges that the drivers will have to face on one of the most technically demanding tracks of the year. Turn two. This is taken in second gear at just over 100 km per hour. The circuit drops off towards the outside of the corner and so accentuates the understeer that gets progressively worse as the corner ends. The front right wheel has to do the most work to keep the whole of the car properly set up and in line throughout all of the corner. There is a sequence of corners that are taken one after another at high speed. The drivers use the kerbing on the outside as part of the racing line. The resulting impact generates a force on the stressed tyre of more than 800 kilograms. It's a phenomenon that repeats itself with even greater intensity on the final kerb, where the cars reach 240 kilometres per hour and generate big vibrations that are transmitted through the shoulder and the tread of the tyre. The final part of the circuit is extremely demanding. There's a sharp turn to the left. The low speed and limited downforce means that the tyres have to generate all the mechanical grip. So it's down to the tyre compound to work as hard as possible in order to first pull the car through the corner and then guarantee good traction out of it, allowing the driver to use all the power from the engine. <laughs> 